The writers for Quantum Mania and the Multiverse of Madness are the ones writing Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars. Does that make you nervous for those films? Uh, that's not the thing that makes me nervous for those films. Uh, what makes me nervous for those films is that it feels like the MCU as a whole isn't firing on all cylinders. There's a lot more misfires in the last two years than there were in the previous, like, five years. Feels like they're putting out too much content. That's what makes me nervous. The other reason that it doesn't really make me nervous that it's the writers of Quantum Mania and Multiverse of Madness, let's step back. Who wrote Endgame? Who wrote Infinity War? The writers of Thor, The Dark World. The movie that crossed the board up until recently was universally considered the worst MCU film. That's who wrote Endgame and Infinity War. Likewise, wrote the worst Narnia film. Like they, they had spotty track record, and then they had an awesome track record. The You have to realize that a screenwriter for Marvel is pretty different from a screenwriter in general. It's much more akin to television writing. They have a writer's room. They have a team of writers. There's people that haven't even been credited for screenwriting, but have been writers for Marvel for years. And they they work together, cracking the code, all this different stuff, putting it together. And then they send off a couple people to go write it. But Kevin Feige is heavily involved in that. And a bunch of other people are cracking these stories. You have to also keep in mind, especially as a recently feels like reshoots are a huge part of the game. So there's what you wrote and you turned in, and then there's the movie that's released. And you might be credited for a movie that turns out much worse than the script that you wrote. That's kind of the, the danger of being a screenwriter. They're brought in, they are told to do a job, they do it, they turn in their script, and then the studio does whatever they want with it, and depending on if the next person that works on it changes enough stuff, they might ruin your script, but your name is still attached to it because they only changed 25%, but they tr remove the 25% that matters. You're the credited screenwriter. They did 25% of screwing it up. Then they can go shoot it and do reshoots and rework it once again. A movie is made three different times, and it's actually these days done like five different times. It's written, it's you, you make it when you write it, you make it when you shoot it, you make it in the editing room, you make it when you reshoot it, you make it when you re take the reshoots into the editing room. That was all way back here, the, they wrote a script, but now you got a team of writers working on it, you got rewrites taking place from other writers, you have to factor all that in. So... Does it excite me that the writers of Quantum Mania are writing Secret Wars, Kang Dynasty? Not specifically. I don't like, wow, that's awesome. But I don't know who they could announce was writing it. Well, I mean, that's not true. I feel like Ryan Coogler, James Gunn, they get to make their own movies. They're, I mean, they get, they're getting notes. They've got their mandatory things they got to do. But they get to make their own movies. They feel like a Coogler film, feels like a James Gunn film with a little bit of MCU sprinkled on top. You watch Quantum Mania, you watch even Sam Raimi's Multiverse of Madness, those feel like MCU product films. It, some of that's what worries me more so than the specific names attached to the film. What do you guys think about replacing Loveness as the writer for Kang Dynasty? I think you'd be fine. Much love. That's the thing with these movies. You know, a lot of blame can go like it's the director or it's the screenwriter. There are... It's a writer's room. There's there's such a massive cog piece, and all kinds of movie. Like it's not like they said oh, this is what he wrote. We got to go. I a hundred percent guarantee you, a lot of people made changes on that shit yeah. without him being the one to have a say or a final say or something like that. When it comes to to the the bigger the movie is, the less that you're watching the screenwriter's original screenplay. <laughs> That's just the way it goes. It is the trajectory of how it is. Um, so, yeah. You know, who wrote Endgame? The guys that wrote Thor The Dark World, as well as the exactly. worst of the Narnia movies. Like that, it, that's especially yeah. like the guy that wrote this hit Last of Us show also 
wrote Hangover I Two and Three. This. Yeah, Craig, Craig Mazin. That's yeah. insane. I, I didn't know that. Like, he wrote like all it, those it, spoof it, movies. And it's Scary like Movie Three. Such yeah. a like like lowest of low comedies. Yes, harsh turn to Chern- Chernobyl. Yeah, <laughs> guys, leave a like for Craig Mazin. Um, and I believe in the director, Destiny. Hey, this clip was pulled from a live stream I did over on Real Rejects with Greg. It's over two hours long. It was a ton of fun. If you enjoyed this clip, there's so much more over there. You can check it out, I think, right over there. You can subscribe to Real Rejects right around here. Thanks so much for watching. Keep talking movies and TV too much. Bye-bye.